Hi Capricorn, welcome to your full moon in Leo reading. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit like and share my videos. That way you will continue to get notifications of all the readings that I post and you'll be able to watch your rising and moon sign and your Venus sign. Um, if, you're, if you're returning to my channel, thank you guys so much for subscribing, leaving me messages, um, both supportive messages and about your situation. I will always send you healing light and guidance. Okay, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The full moon energy does go on for a few weeks. And they have been coming out about love. Even though it's a passionate full moon in Leo, uh, Venus and Mars are actually in the same sign, Sagittarius, at the end of the month, which is rare for that to happen. So there is definitely weird love situations that are coming to the surface. People from the past that want to apologize or realizing the connection. Snake spirit, 5-5, five, five, time to heal. All right, Capricorn. Al spirits at the bottom, seven. You see clear, clearly now. You might have recently been hurt. It doesn't have to be about love. It could have been somebody that was close to you, family, friend. Let's see what else. But it's saying that you're the Al Spirit's always a deep knowing. You might have a connection with owls. I have a connection to um, birds. Okay. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Two popped out. At the bottom of this deck, choosing your path, all is possible. And the two that came out, ascending the mountain, keep traveling forward. Yeah, there was something that you begin now, take your first step. There might have been something that threw you off course. And they're saying it's time to heal. This is the um, lover's oracle. We're going to see what comes out. With the full moon being in Leo, we have to see what's going to come out about love. Okay. Sometimes there's self-love messages. This is the one that was at the bottom. The dove. New beginning. Begin now. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I feel like spirit's guiding it also. And this. <laughs> Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Now that you deserve, know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Um, Capricorn, you may have been hurt recently when it comes to love. And I feel like if it is... I need to call them a bastard. I'm not sure why that just popped into my head. We're going to see. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Full Moon and Leo reading. I've done a lot of videos, so I'm just keeping track of it. That's your current energy. Let's see what it is. The emperor. All right. Begin now. Keep ascending the mountain. That's good that you're in the emperor energy. Masculine or feminine. You're very wise. That's exactly what the owl brings out. The clarity. That's your past energy. All right. Three of cups. For some of you, it might have been a third-party situation, but there was something that kept you feeling stressed from the past. You might have been with somebody that was married. Not all of you. 
What is the future energy for Capricorn? Nine of Cups. And look at this. Two of Cups wanted to pop out. Wish fulfillment. All right. Three of Cups. You might have been married with the Three of Cups or the Hierophant at the bottom and the Nine of Swords. You might have been married to the person going through a divorce, separation. What is guiding Capricorn from above? What is guiding Capricorn that they are unaware of? Two wanted to pop out. Three wanted to pop out. All right. Four wanted to pop out. Let's see. Guys, I'm going to put these back. The Eight of Swords and the Devil. But there was something toxic. The High Priestess, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. There's somebody from the past. Capricorn. Somebody that I feel like you're not talking to. But you guys definitely have that connection of feeling like home. Maybe there was too much going out. Maybe you or your person party too much let's see what is the overall outcome of capricorn's reading six of swords moving to calmer waters resolution you might be traveling to the person they might be traveling to you Two of Swords, Eight of Cups. There might have been something that you needed to walk away from that you didn't. And the higher fonts here again, like, you know what? I'm going to push this along. Let me see. I'm going to clarify with this card, with this deck, because this could mean a few things. You're definitely getting your wish fulfillment in the future. And what's guiding this is somebody they you definitely feel like at home with someone all right can you please clarify the emperor for capricorn the emperor for capricorn okay thank you guys well archangel michael just showed up with the ace of swords two of wands all right you might be dealing with a fire sign, Capricorn. Or a younger earth sign. But somebody wants to come forward and work on something with you. There's definitely a plan. You're going to have that victory in it. That clarity. You might be currently with this person now. Justice is at the bottom. Could be an air sign. Passionate new beginning. After feeling left out in the cold. All right, let's see. Why is the Three of Cups in the past energy? Why is the Three of Cups clarified by the Two of Swords? Guys, I feel like both of you might have had um, a control, a control issue. Both of you wanted to be in charge. It needed to be this equal give and take. And now look at you guys, you're both on the other side of the door. Like, what do we do? Do we move forward from this? Is it possible? Can we have this equal give and take? I believe that you guys were feeling trapped. But there is love here. I feel like I'm getting like the runner and the chaser. I don't feel like this was an equal give and take in the past. Why is the nine of cups here for overall? No, it's not 
in a while. Nine of Cups came out again. I'm going to leave it. Oh, look where it popped out. Ace of Wands. You're going to have that brand new beginning. Why is the Nine of Cups here twice? Five of Wands wanted to come out. Why is the Nine of Cups here twice? Coming clean and coming together. Yeah, guys, there was hurt in the past. Now people, they, somebody wants to come clean. Please clarify the High Priest. This is Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Please clarify the High Priestess, the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. The Hanged Man. It's like that aha moment. This person from the past, I don't think you're currently talking to them right now. You do feel like you're home to each other. So it might be that like twin flame energy or soulmate energy. But it's like that person has the aha moment and then they rush in for this passionate new beginning with you. They want to wipe the slate clean is what I just heard. Why is the six of swords in the overall outcome? Why is the six of swords in the overall outcome? Yeah, you guys, I feel like have both separated. You were working on yourself. They were working on themselves. The single card, nine of coins, and then destiny. The wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor. Can I please have one more card for the overall outcome? Yeah, justice, yeah. There's the Six of Swords again. Justice is going to work in your favor. Yeah, somebody wants to take a leap of faith after feeling left out in the cold. They're going to make the choice too because you are each other's one. There's the card. Yeah, you. there's going to be a resolution, guys. It's going to be calmer waters this time around. You might have been through a rough patch with your person. And now you guys are ascending the mountain. There was definitely hurt here. Know that you deserve to have all that your heart truly desires. I believe that oh, I believe that's what this person realizes after the separation. It's like it's like that aha moment with the hangman. They totally see this in a different oh, screw it. They totally see it in a different light. And now they want to come rushing in. All right. Please clarify Capricorn's reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. I'm going to take them all because I love these cards. Self worth, value, self esteem, confidence. I feel like that's what you had to get out of this when you guys separated. With the High Priestess, you're definitely not talking. Let's see what comes out. It popped out all over the place and left everything looking a mess. Okay. Compromise. That equal give and take. Mutual understanding. Flexibility. Give and take. Brings rewards. That's what, that's what you needed to ascend to. Karmic partner. Conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions. What I feel like this is, in the interim of you guys separating, you might have moved on to other people. One of you might have moved on to other people. And that's where the aha moment comes in, like, that's my person. Feminine. Your divine feminine. You, seeking her twin or soulmate. Runner. Didn't I say runner and chaser? Escape from emotion and confusion on the run. That's what I feel like this relationship was in the beginning. And there's the awakening. Realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection. 
I believe you knew what it was, but they didn't. And the more they tried it to control things, you tried it to control things. And it left you both on either, on different sides. You needed to realize that you guys have that, that bond. You're each other's wish fulfillment. There's going to be a clean slate here. Okay, Capricorn? So go to your rising and moon sign for additional clarity. Um, but I will be back for a more reading. I'm going to do another reading for the um, Venus and Mars in Sagittarius. So I will be back soon for another round of readings. We'll see what that brings in. Might be bring clarity to this or a totally different um, message for those that didn't resonate with this. Okay? But also check the link below because I'm going to leave, leave mid-months down there. And please subscribe, like, and share. Okay? So um, be safe and have a good rest of your week. And I'll be back soon. Love and light.